All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow presentation in LaTeX. A lot of people have been asking for this. LaTeX has this very nice package, a really document class called Beamer. And Beamer is very sweet. You can use the extensionality and syntax of LaTeX to make presentations. It's super easy. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the basics. Um, so here's a, a totally basic LaTeX article, it just has a title. Uh, you know, your document tags, stuff like that. In order to make a Beamer presentation, all you have to do is declare your document uh, class to be uh, Beamer. Uh, and then we'll, we'll actually, oops, flip that around. Uh, you will have your first slide uh, if you have a make title command. Um, so the general logic of Beamer is that Beamer is divided into what they call frames, which is usually what people think of as uh, being called slides, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. It's all semantics. Uh, so to add different slides or frames, uh, you are going to use the begin and in frame uh, commands. So there's a frame environment, uh, and of course, when you put in a begin and end uh, frame command, you will have a new frame in your document, a new page, and that is your new slide. Of course, there's nothing in here. Uh, let's say we want a frame title, which normal people will want. Uh, we just say frame title. Uh, we'll name it, you know, roadmap it's a roadmap of what we're going to talk about. Uh, and of course, the normal body syntax of, you know, Beamer is exactly the same as LaTeX, so you can use any command you want. Let's say I'll have an unordered list. Uh, let's say, so what are the things we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about frames. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, Beamer themes. We're going to talk about uh, pauses and slides. We're going to talk about, um, uh, I spelled pauses wrong. Uh, what else are we going to do? Um, so probably sections. Uh, and of course, you like people like putting images in their documents. Uh, and you got to have some columns sometime. Um, so that's the stuff that we're going to talk about here. And of course, you'll see that you know this works just like any normal LaTeX document. We have our itemized command or whatever for, for, whatever for an unordered list. Um, but anyway, let's add another frame just to be super clear on it. So, you know you just have your begin and end frame commands. So, uh, blah, blah, we'll just call this da, da, da. Um, and put some random text in there. It doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, but that's the basic logic of how to add different frames. Now, you might be looking at this, looking at this uh, preview here, and you're thinking, ah, this is sort of ugly. Look, it's sort of basic, uh, bland colors. Well, the nice thing about LaTeX is, as you see in this uh, you know, second bullet point, is that Beamer has uh, uh, themes that you can use. Uh, you can just call them and they're very easy to uh, you know, use and actually modify if you want to. Uh, in order to call a theme, you just say use theme. And then uh, I'm gonna give you a link to all the different themes that come by default in Beamer. Uh, but here's a brief gallery of them. Let's use, let's use the Frankfurt theme here. So we'll say use theme Frankfurt. And that will give us, you know, this basic, uh, you know, it looks it looks pretty enough. So, uh, you know, this is what we're going to use here. Um, so anyway, now we have a theme. Now it looks a little better. What else can you do with, uh, you know, just the basics of Beamer? Um, so you might want to notice that all of these bullet points come in at one time. So if, when I'm on this slide and I press to go to the next, all of them pop up. You might want them to appear gradually, and that's super easy to do. All you have to do is add the pause command. Okay, so if I put pause after frames here, that means that once LaTeX gets to frames, it's going to pause and it's not going to make any more. Now if I press down again, everything else will appear. Uh, now if I want them all to be gradually, I can just put pause between each and every one of them. Uh, besides the last one, you don't need it there because you don't want to pause at the very end of the document because one's already there. Um, but, you know, you can see they now all appear gradually. Uh, so very nice, uh, very convenient. Um, so that's now some terminology, I should say. Um, now in LaTeX documentation, uh, the different frames that we have, the things that you traditionally think of as being slides, those are called frames. Um, now notice that you know when we're moving up and down here, Technically, these are different pages in the PDF we're compiling. These are the things that LaTeX refers to as uh, slides. So just be careful. I might use the terms a little, uh, you know, fuzzily, but just know that terminological differences. 
there. So our document so far has three frames, but it has a lot of slides because I put in all these pauses. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, now, in addition, there are actually other ways to divide your document. Uh, now, when you're doing some kind of presentation, you genuinely, you generally divide it into like an introduction or, you know, like an argument or data or something like that. Uh, and if we want, we can actually add section headings. Now, the section headings aren't going to appear in the actual document, but they'll appear as sort of peripherals depending on the different themes you have. Let me show you how that's going to look. Um, so let's see. Before our first slide here, I'm going to add a section, and we're going to call it introduction. Okay, and you will see that introduction actually appears up here. Now, let's say before our, our other slide, we'll add another section saying, you know, data, something like that. Okay, uh, so data uh, is going to appear up here, and of course, you can add more sections and more uh, frames. So let's say we add a section, just name it whatever, put a frame in it. So technically there's something in there. Uh, and of course it will appear. And you'll notice that these words up here are actually clickable. So if you click on each one of them, it actually goes straight to whatever slide that we're looking for. And you, if you have a very keen eye, you'll also see down here that there are other things that you can click on to move to different uh, you know, slides in the document or move to different sections. Uh, these are very convenient if you want to move around nice and quick. Um, now each one of them do you know does something different. I never use them, but they're there, and you might want to play around with them, get used to them, uh, and they can help you navigate your document uh, sort of on the go. Uh, but anyway, that's the basic logic of you know sections and frames and you know different stuff. Uh, now one thing that a lot of people you know have some trouble with sometimes because it can be a little confusing in LaTeX is uh, putting implementing images in your document. Uh, which can be, you know, something a little confusing. Um, but, of course, generally, they work the same way as any other LaTeX document. Let me go down to where I am right now. So let's say images in Beamer. Uh, we'll just put some text there. Let's scroll down here. Uh, so images in Beamer, how do we do them? Now, just like any other LaTeX packages, um, you or, you know, uh, formats, uh, you can call um, images with the graphic x command. So graphic x, so make sure to put use package graphic x in there. And once you do that, you can use the include graphics command to add some kind of graphics into your slides. So I'm going to do that. I have a photo in my home directory named pic.jpg. It's actually a picture of me. Uh, and bam, it appears. And of course, in typical LaTeX style, it appears in its native uh, size. So of course, we're going to want to change it. And we can change it to, we'll change the height to text height. Now, if you want more info, of course, you can check out my video on uh, images in LaTeX. The same logic applies to Beamer slides, of course. Um, now, actually, I want this a little smaller. We'll, we'll say uh, 0 0.85 of text height. OK, that's, that's a little better. So images in Beamer, they're nice and simple. Um, they work exactly how you'd expect to be. Uh, working. Uh, you can put centering tags around them, stuff like that. All of that works fine. But let's say you want to have an image over here and text on the other side. That's something that people often do. Uh, so it's nice to know uh, how to do it. Uh, and how you do that is with columns. Um, so let me actually make a new frame for this. So columns. Uh, and I'll do it one time without the image and one time with it, uh, just to you know be super sure. So if you want to have columns in your document, uh, it's very easy. You just say begin columns, end columns. Now nothing's going to happen so far. Um, so the general idea is in this environment, you can add, uh, you can call the column command, um, and then you feed it how, uh, what width you want. So we want, let's say we want two columns here. So we want one column to be half of the the uh, slide uh, width, and the other one to be the other half. Uh, so we'll say 0.5 of text width, uh, and then we'll put some text in here. Okay, Just fill it up with a bunch of text. So you'll notice that we have one column and it's automatically centered, uh, but it, you'll notice that it is only half of the width. Um, so if we want another column, we can just say column 
uh, 0.5 text width. Now we have yet another one, and it goes on the other side of the document. Uh, so that works out nice and fine. So this is usually this is usually how you can easily do uh, easily divide your slides or your frames into different columns. And of course, if I want to take this uh, picture and move it down here, just throw it in there, and bam, there we go. Uh, so that's oops, why do I still have the yeah okay there we go, right. Um, so that's about it. That's all the basics to doing, um, you know, a, a Beamer presentation. I might do a little more later, but just as a reminder, right? So we have different frames. We just have the begin and end frame command. Uh, we can have we have all the basic syntax of LaTeX, uh, and you can use pauses to divide your frames into little slides. Uh, and of course, you have uh, different sections that you can click on. Uh, depending on your theme and they work differently and you can play around with that and of course the logic of images and other stuff is the same and you can divide your frames into different columns with the column command uh, so anyway uh, i'm going to put a link to these themes in the video description hope you enjoyed it hope this is a good intro uh, but anyway uh, see you guys next time